Hey guys, it's Chad at Pete's RV today. I want to welcome you to our dealership here in Burlington, Vermont. Uh, one thing we're going to touch on today is the amount of snow we've been getting this year and the weight of the snow. A lot of customers are concerned are the roofs going to be damaged with the amount of snow we've got this year. Um, if you take a look around on this Sprinter and this Springdale, we've got close to 18 to 20 inches of snow sitting on the roof today. Um, and you know, We're not just getting snow in Burlington, Vermont. You're getting snow in Dallas, Texas, you saw from the Super Bowl. A couple things we, we've been talking about here. We've been going back and forth with the factory. What's the proper What's the proper mode of you know keeping your trailer safe and maintained well? So in springtime we're not going to have any problems. The factory has advised us that there is no protocol for you know weight on the roof of snow. They do not clean the roofs at the factory, and we do not clean them here at our dealership. But we do have a lot of customers that are concerned with the weight, and they are going to clean their roofs. Um, I just want to point out a few tips you want to keep in mind when you're going to be cleaning your roofs if you clean your roofs. Number one, always use a plastic shovel. If you've got a metal shovel up there on that rubber roof, you're going to be having problems with cutting the roof or ruining the seal of the, of the rubber roof. Number two is you want to keep an eye out for your roof vents. We sell a lot of roof vents this time of year to people who are stepping through the roof vents. So keep an eye on those roof vents. You don't want to get real close to them and you don't want to push your shovel or foot through them. If you do, make sure you get a new roof vent immediately. And we're not talking a lot. If you just chip that roof vent with your shovel, you've got to be careful because that's going to leak in springtime once we start getting warmer weather. Here in Vermont, that's April. It could be in Dallas, Texas where it's warmer tomorrow. But um, Number three, keep an eye, eye out for those vents from your holding tanks. The little white caps on your roof, that's a basically a vent for the, the black gray water of your trailer. So you want to make sure you don't cut those with the shovel or crack them or knock them off. If you do, what happens is the water will settle inside the wall of your trailer. So the same thing, and if you do damage those, make sure you get a new one right away. But that's just the big, the, number four, the safest thing, it's really slippery up there. If you're up there, make sure you got a ladder that's tall enough, you're not on a six foot ladder hanging off the side of your trailer. Um, if you've got a fully walkable roof, use the roof that's on the trailer itself. So, But just another maintenance tip I wanted to give you. This is one of our informational videos. If you want more information, you can follow me, facebook.com slash pizza, Chad, pizza RV, PRV, sorry, Chad, PRV. Any questions, let me know. I'll be glad to help you. We're hoping here, I'm here five days a week answering questions for you. Thanks very much. Thanks for thinking Pizza RV Center.